Do you guys remember back in elementary school when like every single day in our email inbox we'd be getting these stupid chain messages over and over? I'm cleaning out my inbox from like 2008, 2007 and I found this gem and I thought I definitely had to share it with you. Okay, so here it is. Once there was a little girl called Clarissa, she was 10 years old and she lived in a mental hospital because she killed her mom and dad. She started to kill all the staff in the hospital. All of the staff in the hospital. Wow, this was not a very good mental hospital, I guess. Um, so the government decided it would be best to get rid of her. Get rid of her. That's a perfect way to put it. The government gets to decide all of these things. They set up a room to kill her as humanely as possible. It sounds like they're like those pigs in like the slaughterhouse, so that's good. Um, that was, yeah, super nice of them. And, uh, but the machine broke and she was in agony for hours. Damn it. Damn those machines. Every week on the day of her death, she returns to the person who reads the letter. That's me, guys, okay? On a Monday night at 12, she creeps into your room. On a Monday night at 12, as if I needed another reason to hate Mondays, now Clarissa's gonna show up in my bedroom. Perfect. And kills you by slowly cutting off parts of your body and watching you bleed to death. That's not very humane, that's for sure. This girl is not... Okay, well, moving on. If you don't send this to 20 people by midnight, she'll be coming to kill you. This is logical cause and effect, of course. I mean, if you don't send it to 20 people, she'll kill you. That's complete. It makes perfect sense. It's science, pretty much. And this is my favorite part. Send it so she has another load of people to get and forgets about you. Like, perfect. Like, sick them on your friends. Like, sick them on your entire email contact list so that you're safe. I mean, who cares? Sorry, best friends. Clarissa has to get someone and it's better you than me. Oh, here's this is perfect. Example number one. Jenny didn't believe this and deleted it without reading the whole thing. Oh my God, guys, Jenny. A few days later on the Monday night, of course, she was woken up by loud footsteps and heavy breathing. Breathing is spelled with two E's here, so that's perfect. Um, there was Clarissa standing there with a huge knife and well, Jenny is history now. That was exactly how it was worded. That's like, should that even have convinced me of anything? I'm pretty sure it shouldn't have, but. Why, Jenny, why? All you had to do was send it to 20 people and you would have been saved. So simple, what the heck? Can I just take a moment to question my 12 year old self? Like, I was legitimately scared by this. And to look back, I'm like, this was the stupidest piece of crap that ever dropped into my inbox. But I was like, no, Clarissa is coming to get me. There's no doubt about it. But I can safely say that there were many chain messages that I did not send and I am still alive. So I'm living proof that, you know, doesn't always work out. Clarissa doesn't always win. So I feel like us teenagers are in between two stages right now. We basically just exited the creepy killer chain message stage, but we haven't quite gotten into the cat video sent from nine to five from your work email stage, so good for us. So I felt like I had to show you guys this gem because I found it in my inbox and I just thought that it was really ridiculous and that it was time for us all to, you know, take a walk down memory lane and just relive this. So there you go. Don't worry, you don't have to send this to 20 people. If you don't mind me showing up at your house on Monday night getting ready to slice you up. One final closing thought though. Remember those chain messages that said, oh, if you don't send them, you're gonna have bad luck in love for seven years? I have yet to prove that one false. I mean, I never sent those and I'm guessing all of these Tinder stories that I have for myself are the result of my 12 year old self not sending these stupid chain messages. Damn it, 12 year old Christina. I'm paying the price now. Well, that's all I have to say on that topic, and I will see you guys next time. Damn it, 12-year-old Christina.